You're on the Millennium Force roller coaster at Cedar Point, Ohio. You leave the station and are immediately lifted into the clouds, only to drop 300 feet straight down. You're thrown higher the entire ride, then come crashing down, subjected to a dizzying two minutes of loops and turns, but in the end, you end up right where you started. Remember that analogy, because it could be exactly like investing in 2022. The wild rises followed by stomach-churning drops. The stock market could make even the most experienced investor lose their lunch over the next year, suffering those ups and downs, only to end up exactly at the same place with your portfolio. Now, I am not one of these chicken littles calling for a stock market crash. With interest rates at historic lows, a healthy jobs market, and free money policies from the Fed, you just don't get a stock crash in that environment but you will get volatility. You're gonna get those roller coaster ups and downs, and if you wanna make any money investing in 2022, not only to end up where you started, but to actually make money, you need a short-term investing plan. In this video, I'll explain why the 2022 stock market will be that monetary roller coaster and why even long-term investors need a short-term investing plan. I'll show you how to find short-term investments and how to decide on an investing strategy. Then I'll reveal the five best short-term investments I'm watching next year. But as always, you know we can't get started without that special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Now I wanna get in on those short-term investing ideas, but all you out there in the nation know, I want you to understand why I'm watching these investments as well, how to reason through the stock market and be ahead of the game so, so you can find your own investments. As much as I love our little bow tie community, I don't want you to be forever dependent on some Yahoo on YouTube for your investing ideas. So I wanna quickly cover the catalyst for that market volatility in 2022, the reason why stocks could be that roller coaster ride next year. And Nation, you only have to look at a stock chart of the NASDAQ or any tech stock over the last five years to see something broke in the market in 2020. This is a 10 year chart of the NASDAQ index and we see over the eight years to 2020, tech stocks did really well, producing a 16% annualized return, which is an amazing bull run. But then what the hell happened over the last 20 months? Tech stocks and really the entire market have boomed higher, rising 75% since January of last year. That's a 45% annualized return. And no, it doesn't take a rocket scientist here. The Federal Reserve, the nation's central bank, has pumped more than $4.4 trillion into the economy through those pandemic measures. That is a fifth the size of the economy in one year. And if there was any doubt, this shows the NASDAQ tech stock index in green and the Fed balance sheet. So the amount of money the Fed is pumping into the economy and you see they track each other almost exactly. And that doesn't even include the additional $4.7 trillion spent by the US government in stimulus checks, loans, all those other pandemic spending. Now this is not to say that that money wasn't needed to avoid an economic depression, but the bill comes due. It always comes due. And as investors, you need to start thinking about the consequences before that happens. The Fed is already paring back on the money it forces into the economy. And even on that proposed government spending, it's still gonna be a multi-trillion dollar drop from last year. So as less money gets pushed out into the economy, you take away one of those legs of support that we've seen in stocks over these last two years. Now, another support on stocks has been historically low interest rates. Now, this shows the interest rate on the 10-year treasury, the benchmark against which all other interest rates follow, and you can see it has averaged just over 2% in the eight years to 2020. Then to spur economic growth, the Fed cut its funds rate, which caused the 10 year to plunge, averaging just 1% over the last year, and it's still low at 1.5%. And that's important for two reasons. First is that interest rates are a cost of borrowing money. And lower interest rates means cheap money for businesses to borrow and higher economic growth. And it's also important for investors though, because interest rates directly determine the return you can get from other things like bonds and other fixed income investments. Because interest rates have been so low, all the pension funds, the insurance companies have been forced out of bond investments and into stocks. You might have heard about this as a reason for strength in stocks called TINA, or there is no alternative. Looking back at that chart though, and you can already see that interest rates have jumped off their lows and are expected back up to that 2% level over the next year. That pulls yet another leg of support away from stocks because investors can start getting the better return on bonds and higher rates just aren't gonna be that same economic support they were previously. Now again though, I'm not calling for a full-blown stock market crash. The job market is strong, there is still a lot of money in savings accounts ready to be spent, and, and the economy looks good. What it does mean though, as you get those multiple areas of support pulled out from under stocks, you start to see those price swings come back. 
you get the roller coaster ride in stocks rather than just a ski lift ride straight up. Stocks in the S&P 500 went 227 days this year without a correction, a drop of 5% or more in prices. That is historically long and has lulled investors into a false sense of security that stocks only go up. Now what this means is that if you want to make money in stocks in 2022, you need to be ready for those bigger stock market swings. Be ready for what's going to drive them and, and with the short-term investments to take advantage of that. And this first short-term idea is a new one, selling monthly options against the Bitcoin ETF for as high as a 10% return every month. And this strategy is similar to something we talked about a few weeks ago comparing the income ETFs like the QYLD. And this is creating monthly cash flows on those stock positions and it works so well here because of that high volatility in the ProShares Bitcoin ETF, ticker BITO. We can go into the options for the ETF and I like this as a short-term monthly strategy. So we'll pick the options expiring three weeks from now, the November 26 expiration. The fund here is trading for $42.56 a share and if we scroll down, we can sell the call options with a $42.50 strike price for $3.20 each. That means we collect $3.20 per share for selling another investor the right to buy those shares from us for $42.50 each at the end of these three weeks. Now that lowers the cost we paid for the shares down to $39.36 each. So if we do end up selling them for that $42.50, we've made almost an 8% return in three weeks, less than a month's time. But just as good, if the stock does finish below the $42.50 price in three weeks, we keep the shares and the money, which means we collected a 7.5% cash return and can sell another call option for the next month. And yes, I know option strategies can be super confusing at first, but these are some great tools to have in your investing toolbox, especially when you find these volatile stocks and the funds where the option prices are so high. Just do not feel like you have to totally understand it right away though. I did a video on my favorite option strategies a few months ago that, that details the strategy quite a bit, so I'll link to that below in the description. Basically, you're just collecting a cash return immediately on your stocks to lower your risk and boost that return. Now, this next short-term investment is one I've highlighted a couple times, earning interest on stablecoins through BlockFi. There is a huge demand for lending stablecoins right now in international transfers as well as other transfers where, where you need that fast and frictionless payment processing without all the fees that are charged by the banks. Because of this, platforms like BlockFi are paying interest rates up to 9% on those accounts. Now, this is exactly what traditional banks do with your savings. They pay you the interest on that money, then loan it out on mortgages, but, but here you just have a savings account holding stable coins, and the platform is going to make loans on that, except the rate BlockFi is paying out right now is more than 150 times the average 0.06% rate you get from the bank. And this is such a great short-term investment on a couple of levels. First, that interest rate and the rate doesn't depend on the stock market. In fact, the rate could increase as other interest rates increase, so you're going to continue to earn that money whether the stock market rises or falls. Second though, you earn that interest every single day. And this gives you the flexibility to sit out the market in cash, still make a great return, but then have that cash available to buy back into stocks whenever you want. I've made over $1,600 in interest and earned $25 a day or about $750 a month. Now that's interest on my stable coins as well as investments in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I've got about $80,000 in stable coins with a 9% rate or about $600 a month of that total. Now of course, anytime you see that high yield interest on what amounts to be a savings account, you've got to ask yourself, what's the catch? Is it too good to be true? And the drawbacks to stablecoin interest are, first, you're going to notice that BlockFi pays that top rate only on the first 40,000 in coins. So if you've got more than 40 grand in any one stablecoin, you're going to earn a little bit lower rate. Now I get around that by having half of my savings in USDC and the other part in PAX stablecoin. So I come under that $40,000 each and make the top rate in both. Now another drawback to these though is they aren't FDIC insured like you get with bank savings. So while I don't think there's anything to worry about because these coins are backed by real assets like commercial paper that keep their value, it is not a guarantee. So I'll link to a few videos in the description below to help you understand Bitcoin and how this investment works. It takes less than five minutes to open an account on BlockFi and you can deposit directly from your bank. Click on the link that I'll leave in the description and you'll get up to $250 in free Bitcoin when you open an account. We've still got three more of those short-term investments to highlight, but all you out there in the nation know, I'm not about to just drop those ideas in your lap and tell you what investments to make. I want to show you how to find these kinds of short-term investments, what to watch for so, so you can find the very best every time. Now, through these five investments, five trades, you're going to notice themes like market mispricings and using different types of investments for that short-term return.
Now, these kinds of investments are all around if you know where to look. So I wanna cover three strategies to use here. One of my favorite strategies is the riskless or hedged investments, the trades where your return doesn't depend on the direction of stocks. For example, in our stablecoin interest investment, those rates are paid whether stocks rise or fall. The interest paid is backed by the money BlockFi collects on its loans. Another example I'll show you later involves buying an investment and then pairing it with a bet against that same investment in futures, essentially creating a risk-free trade to make up to 20% a year. Another strategy for short-term investing is by taking advantage of market mispricings in different types of investments like stocks and options. Now, like we saw in that options investment, the volatility in some of these meme and growth stocks and the Bitcoin fund is so out of whack that, that you can make a strong short-term return while taking taking a lot of the risk out of the trade. But then my favorite trading strategy, using that longer term investing that we do here on the channel, but then looking for short term catalysts that can send the investment booming. And I'll show you how to do this with our next investment, but basically you're looking for those stocks with strong long term upside potential and, and then just narrowing your list to those with possible near term events that, that can really jumpstart that growth. But this next short term trading idea is similar to that Bitcoin option strategy, using options for cash flow and return on some meme stocks. And I'll be using the covered call option strategy here where you buy a stock and then sell a call option against it. And selling calls gives another investor the right to buy that stock from you for a set price over a set period. And for that, they pay you a cash premium right now. And why this works so well with meme stocks, just like we saw with the Bitcoin fund, is because that volatility in these stocks, the huge price swings in the shares, means you collect more from those options. For example, this is an actual trade I set up in October with shares of Bed Bath & Beyond after a disastrous report sent the shares down more than 30% in just a few days. And you can see here, I paid $16.99 for 700 shares and immediately sold seven call option contracts. And remember, each contract is for 100 shares. I sold those at a strike price of $20 and collected $1.59 per share. Now, what does this mean? By collecting that $1.59 per share, I collected a 9% return on the investment immediately and, and there are only two outcomes here. One is if that stock finishes above the $20 by the end of that option expiration on January 21st, then that investor is gonna exercise that option and buy them from me for that price. I get an almost 18% return on the investment, plus I keep that 9% cash return for a 27% total return in less than three months. On the other hand, if the shares do finish under $20 each, that investor isn't gonna buy them from me for that amount. I'd keep my shares and then sell more call options against them, probably the next month's options for another five to 10% cash return. Now, as it turns out, the stock soared past $20 each recently, so it looks like I'm gonna be collecting that 27% return over the three months and can reinvest that in another stock. Now, I know you wanna get back to those investing ideas, but I wanna take a minute to show you how I found these investments, two rules that describe the difference between short-term and long-term investing. Now, these five short-term investments are going to help make you money in 2022, but I want to give you the tools that are going to help you make money every single year. Now, this first one is difficult for a lot of investors, but you have to cut your analysis of the fundamentals. For these short-term investments, it is much more about investor sentiment and that herd mentality than it is those long-term things like operating margin and the valuation. And again, this is a tough one for value investors like me. I always want to analyze that, that long-term potential of an investment and, and get the best value out of it, but that's just not applicable as much for these short-term trades you have to be able to find the investments that are gonna spark that investor enthusiasm, no matter what the price. Next here is you have to be able to think like a contrarian. A contrarian is just an investor that thinks against the current market trends or assumptions. And this is a great opportunity that most investors just don't take advantage of. The market, and especially some investments that we'll talk about like futures and options, is an auction machine. The stronger the consensus there is on one side of the trade, the cheaper the other side is gonna to be to take part in it, and the higher the payoff it, if it ends up being right. Back to our list though, and fourth on our 2022 investments is penny stock investing, but with that short-term catalyst to send the stock higher. Now we've covered penny stocks on the channel before, but it's usually that longer term venture capital kind of approach where, where you're looking for startup companies that can 10X your money over three or five years. And here you're still doing that research into finding good long long-term growth, but you're also gonna be taking it a step further to find those near-term events that could jumpstart that growth. An example of this would be the Health-Linked Corporation, ticker HLYK, a $69 million healthcare provider. And the company provides a cloud-based network in healthcare connecting patients, doctors, and data. Patients and doctors can check their records, enter symptoms, and schedule everything online. And these kinds of virtual services and software are the future of healthcare. 
It might not replace all your doctor visits, but it will replace many. And I think a lot of these startup virtual health services companies start getting bought up by some of the bigger players eventually. Mobile and telehealth is already an $18 billion market, according to Bloomberg Analytics, and it's growing at a 30% plus pace a year. Revenue at the company jumped 52% last year to $6.1 million after nearly doubling in 2019, and the company books multiple revenue streams through reimbursement and marketing. The balance sheet here is also healthy with $2.6 million in cash against just $1.1 million in debt, so a cash positive position and plenty of runway to develop that company. And here I think the near term catalyst would be that worker shortage, especially in healthcare workers that could drive growth in these kinds of virtual services. The company just launched a new version of its patient check-in system in October using a single QR code for remote check-in that I think could help boost revenue over the next year. So here you have that solid long term penny stock investment, but with a short term catalyst that presents an upside opportunity. Shares were as high as 94 cents each in the last year, which would be a 200% plus return just back up to that point. I'll reveal my favorite short term investment next, but we need to talk about a big question here. The question most investors don't ask and end up losing their money in these kinds of trading strategies. How much risk are you willing to take for how much return? Nation, some of these investments are about as low risk as you get, but there will always be a trade off between risk and return. Anyone promising lottery ticket type returns for no risk either doesn't know what they're talking about or is just trying to sell you something. Well, you know, I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass like that. So anytime you're looking at short term investments or any investment for that matter, you need to rank your options by risk and return. How risky are each of those investments and what are the returns you expect on each? For example, a ranking of my five short term investments might look something like this with stable coins and that cash and carry strategy listed for the lowest risk all the way to the highest risk on that penny stock investment. As for returns, I can earn 9% right now on stablecoin interest, the lowest annualized return of the group, but again, it's also one of the lowest risk. Compare that with the returns that we made on penny stocks as high as 3 and 400% last year, but also with the risks of losing 30 and 40% or more on your investment. So do not just go with that highest return potential, but really think about your options, how much risk you want and which investment is really best. This next one is easily my favorite short term investing idea, the best I've seen in a long time, the cash and carry trade on Bitcoin. This is a great monthly trading strategy that I've used to earn up to 20% annualized returns for months now, but it is not going to last. I say you take advantage of this through 2022 and enjoy it while it lasts because it is a rare low risk and short term way to earn higher returns. And the cash and carry trade means you buy an asset, usually a commodity or a currency, and then sell futures contracts against that at the same time. And how you make money here is by finding those assets where the current price is less than the futures price. So you lock in the difference. Now let me show you an example here. We can go to BlockFi and you see the current price for Bitcoin is at $63,011 each. Now we can go here to the CME. That's the major exchange where futures are traded. And we can see that each month's contracts prices for Bitcoin. And this October contract expires in four days. So we'll use the November futures for our reference. And you see here one month futures for Bitcoin are trading at $63,928 each. That's more than 1.4% above the current price in the market. Another way of looking at this, there is a $900 difference per Bitcoin between the current price and these contracts to buy or sell. And so what you do here, and this is how a lot of big institutional investors are making a lot of money right now is, is by buying Bitcoin and holding it in your account. And at the same time, you sell a futures contract against it. Now this means you have those Bitcoins and at the same time a contract to sell those exact number of Bitcoins to someone else when that contract expires in a month. Now I actually highlighted and went into more detail on this investment in last week's video on my five favorite 2022 investments. And I don't want to just copy the information here. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Make sure you check that out because it really is a great trade. Nation, this is only paying that high return right now because the ETF option for Bitcoin investors is through those future funds. Billions of dollars have gone into these funds and that means massive demands in those futures contracts, pushing the prices above the current Bitcoin price. Now the return here could shrink once regular Bitcoin ETFs are approved, but until then you've got the opportunity for that double digit short term return. Click on the video to the right for the five best investments for 2022, five investments I'm making for returns all year long and the five worst investments that will lose your money. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.